When I look at my views, my videos, I feel like crying. Like I'm working very hard. Please help me grow this channel. Please hit the red subscribe button and the black notification bell. And please watch my contents. I have an amazing content, although most of them are amateur because I didn't know what I was doing then. I still don't know what I'm doing because YouTube is a university, four year college. <laughs> what's up my lovely people <laughs> thank you so very much for returning to my channel i appreciate you as always thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed already please do me a favor can you subscribe and also watch my videos please 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 when I please help me grow this channel thank you i can count on you that being said in this episode i'm going to be talking about abuja the federal capital of nigeria don't let all that negativity and brouhaha online, you know, fool you. You know, what is being depicted about Nigeria in social media is highly exaggerated. When you go to Nigeria, you cannot relate the nation with what is being said on the social media. There is element of what is, you know, complained about social media like insecurity in Nigeria. But if you know your terrain or if anyone that is helping you knows their terrain, you know, where to go and where not to go, you'll be perfectly fine in Nigeria. And you really, Abuja as a city is completely safe you know and nothing is happening in FCT you can believe that you know every government is going to protect their capital city you know if any capital city falls then you know that the country is completely over Abuja is safe so I will encourage you to visit Nigeria Nigeria as a whole will change your life you will see people with smiles always willing to help and you see people with sense of humor and you begin to ask yourself, what's your problem? You know, so if people who uh, have to deal with this magnitude of challenges in life can manage to force out a smile, what is your problem? So that's why I'm saying that Nigeria will touch your life. So please go when you get a chance. Welcome to Nigeria. As you can see, a lot of people don't think of Nigeria as the safest country, but that is not at all true. I am here in beautiful Ekiti State in the middle of the country at this amazing waterfall. I'm completely safe. I'm like Everything has been fine about this trip, and even though Nigeria gets a bad name in international media and news, none of that's true. you got to come here and find, find out. So back to Abuja. Abuja became the federal capital of Nigeria in 1991. Before that was Lagos. The concept of the federal capital territory was uh, conceived. It was conceived in 1976, but the construction of Abuja didn't start until the early 80s. So they get the model of Abuja from Washington DC and the Brasilia, you know, the capital city of Brazil. Abuja's development is uh, graded or classified into five phases. I think it's still on the second phase. So Abuja still have a lot of development to make. It's, uh, it's uh, about 40 years now. Abuja is completely, totally, spectacularly beautiful, stunning city. I call Abuja the city where mother nature means modernization because Abuja is constructed around nature, okay? It has a hilly topography and greenery landscape. Beautiful city, it's very wide. It has a wide road network, clean, serene. The houses, the top of the line expensive, you know, architectural homes that will, you know, take your breath away. Abuja is not cheap. It's an expensive city and they're not trying to make it any way cheap for people to come in because if you doubt me, try to get a building approval from Abuja, they're going to give you the run for your money. I kid you not. But Abuja stopped approving bungalows and ranch houses, I think from four years ago. So when I'm talking about Abuja, I'm talking about the city of Abuja because, you know, most of the times, you know, people call all FCT Abuja. And there is difference. I'm going to make that distinction so that you can understand what is Abuja and what is FCT. 
So yeah, people who live, you know, in other area councils around the capital, you know, the federal capital territory, they also said that they live in Abuja. No, and for the purpose of this conversation, I'm talking about the city of Abuja. And in a moment, I'm going to um, describe to you, you know, uh, what is FCT and what is Abuja, so you don't get those two, those two constructs mixed up. So. Abuja, it's, uh, it's where <laughs> everyone wants to be. I think it hosts the most of the, you know, uh, modern infrastructures in the country. Uh, as long as, you know, uh, hospitals and everything that can make life comfortable. So, um, I will encourage you next time if you visit Nigeria, just uh, um, stop by Abuja. You will love the city. It's a very, very beautiful city back to um the abuja and fct fct is is the full meaning of fct is the federal capital territory is a whole large place that is mapped out for the federal capital territory of nigeria FCT is made up of six area councils, which is Abaji, Wale, Wawalada, Buari, Kuje, and Abuja Municipal Area Council. The Abuja, the city that you're hearing, is under Abuja Municipal Area Council then that is one area council out of the six area councils of federal capital territory but yeah people that lives in other five you know area councils that could be very far away from the city they all you know goes by living in abuja so for the purpose of this conversation i'm focusing okay in the city of abuja that is responsible or in charge of Abuja development is called Federal Capital Territory Authority, FCTA. Have another department under it that is called AGIS, Abuja uh, Geographical Information Systems. Those are the agency that is directly in charge of supervising lands, sales, allocations, and documentation federal capital territory authority fcta does have certain lands 
that is directly under their jurisdiction in Abuja. And then the area council, which is Abuja Municipal Area Council, and MAC, have other lands that is directly under their jurisdiction. So depending on what part of Abuja or what part of the city, it could be under directly under the supervision of FCTA or it can be directly under supervision of a MAC that is the area council so it's kind of tricky okay I'm not going to touch a MAC Abuja municipal area council with a with with a 10 inch pole I have a reason for that I will be more comfortable with the lands that is within the jurisdiction of the FCTA, the Federal Capital Territory Authority, because they have the system. They have a database, okay? Trying to buy a land in that city can be very challenging. Next time, I'm going to be discussing my experience with regards to buying a land in the city so you know what to expect what to do and where to go and that i'm going to be talking about in my next video thank you so very much for watching please hit the red subscribe button and the black notification bell and please watch my contents i have an amazing content although most of them are amateur because i didn't know what i was doing then i still don't know what i'm doing because youtube is a university four-year college <laughs> thank you so much my people i love you all okay stay blessed stay strong peace i will see you in the next episode <laughs>